Hello and welcome to Talk Bowling episode 59. I'm John Congdon. I'm Tony Rucco. Talk Bowling is proud to be bringing you the latest information from the bowling industry, bowling tips, and updates on our largest internet bowling website, bowlingball.com. All right. Uh huh. I went back, watched last week's episode. I think I need to be a little more peppy, a little more on the game, and not so down and out. Oh, I thought you were intentionally being down and out this week. This week? Oh, that was your peppy? <laughs> that was my peppy. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a quick episode today. Is it? It seems like it. I could be wrong. A little bit, maybe. You only went with one question this week. We have a question. We're doing it in the pro shop. We didn't have many questions. We've got lots of questions. They're just backlogged. We'll get on them. I'll, I'll show them where they're at. How to find them. Okay. They're all over. All right. Question from Chris H. What is the best way to get oil out of a reactive resin ball? I have heard placing the ball in an oven to a warm water bath with Dawn or placing the ball outside in warm weather. Answer, none of those. No. We don't suggest any of those methods and neither do most ball manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Um, In fact, those methods can actually lead to damage to your ball like cracking. You don't really ever want to subject the ball to heat. You definitely don't want to put it in water. Um, People have done it. It has worked, I guess, in certain cases. Your best bet is going to be to use an oil-free towel or microfiber towel. Use that during bowling because the oil that isn't soaked into the cover stock, you, you know, you'll see oil on the ball on the surface. You can get that off right away if you use a towel. And then using a cleaner after you're done bowling. And some cleaners are approved for use during bowling. So you'll see people in between games spraying their ball and, and cleaning it off. You just have to check to make sure it's USB-C approved for use during play. If it's not, then that's fine. Use your oil-free towel or microfiber towel, and then after bowling's done, clean it up and you'll be all set. Yeah, I've seen a ton of these ways of people doing it. Yeah, to... there's the only the only recommended way of heating a ball. There's a machine called a reviver, mm-hmm. and, and it's a it is like a little oven for your ball, but it is it's been proven to work. It doesn't cause any damage to your ball. So if your pro shop has one of those, you can use that. Uh, otherwise, there's things like the hook again kit out there. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of it, as long as if it comes from a reputable pro shop or from an online site or or it's approved by a manufacturer, the USB-C, then you're okay. Right. Don't do those other three. Actually, I think another one I've heard was put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, I've heard that one too. Don't the, don't do any of that. <laughs> one of the biggest reasons with the heating it up is the the thermal. Uh, they it's a the thermal expand they yeah, right. they expand at different rates the so what happens is the inner core and the outer core don't expand at the same rate mm-hmm. uh, coefficient of thermal expansion or I don't know something like that so you get wow all technical yeah so you get the the inner core expands differently than the outer core so it ends up almost creating like a uh, like an earthquake kind of thing you know you get that you get a, a split in the cover stock you can always tell a heat split from like a hairline crack because the heat ones are thick enough you can put like a credit card into them. And because the you have the cover stock, the inner core, or the, the inner shell and right. the, the core, there may be a crack down deep in the ball yeah. that you don't know about separation of the yeah. core. Yeah, you, and that's just because everything expanding and contracting at different rates. Yeah, don't do any of that. Yeah. You'd better off to do nothing than to do that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just buy a new ball every year. It's there you right. go. I like that idea. All right, we're going to show you, and in the pro shot today, we will show you how to use a microfiber or oil-free towel, and also how to apply ball cleaner to your ball. That's right. Check it out. Okay, so today on In the Pro Shop, we're going to discuss how to clean your ball with a microfiber or oil-free towel, and then we're also going to show you how to clean your ball down with a ball cleaner. Uh, you'll see a lot of people during league, they'll take their towel, fold it over, make it easy to fit in their hand. After every shot, after every frame, however you feel comfortable or whenever you want to do it, most people just give the ball a spin in the area of their track. If you're right-handed, just off your grip to the left, and if you're left-handed, just off your grip to the right. And that's going to help you get the oil that's left on the cover stock off in between frames. Now, uh, today I grabbed a Storm Extra Clean which happens to be one of the cleaners that's approved during USB-C use. So you can use this during league if you want or you can just do it afterwards. All you want to do is just spray spray a little on the ball and then you can use your oil free towel or a clean rag, whatever you want to do and just wipe the ball down. Make sure you get the whole ball 
and that's going to help get the oil out of the cover stock so everything you couldn't get with just the towel by itself hopefully this cleaner will get and there you go now you have a clean ball and you're ready to bowl all right buy costumes is your ultimate source of various halloween costumes accessories and party supplies for people and even pets of all ages view over 15,000 items from a wide range of genre and categories whether you want to go for scary tactics or cutesy costumes buycostumes.com has the most complete set of costumes for you talk bowling viewers can save 12 percent by visiting www.buycostumes.com forward slash talk bowling help support us by supporting our sponsors do you know if i could get a john condon costume at buy that costumes? was the most strange comment i've ever read we all think john or his wife sent that comment in we did not yeah but well, I'm going to go think, look and see if there's a John Conner. I, I think that was on the YouTube episode. Oh, maybe. That was uh, that was interesting. Thank you, I think. Check it out, <laughs> I, I think. I didn't know how to really respond. <laughs> it's 911. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, last week, we asked you how much pressure impacts the lane when a 16-pound ball meets the surface of the lane. And as far as through our uh, con- our comments and everything I saw only one person got it right that was kingpin the answer is 1800 pounds per square inch uh, I saw a couple comments where it depends on how you throw the ball and, and I don't know the answer to any of that but the the answer we got was 1800 pounds per square inch and that's a lot of force yeah sounds like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't know what the scale is I guess is it a lot of force what, what is it by punching the face good question i guess it depends on how strong you are but 1800 pounds imagine on one square inch of your body 1800 pounds hitting you that's i don't i throw a 14 pound ball so mine's like 1200 pounds probably <laughs> this is probably close all right this week's question when king we're getting more interesting questions i like this when king henry the eighth outlawed bowling he gave three reasons what were they i want to answer them i'm now. hoping vii is eight I'm pretty, usually pretty good with them. In the no, V-I-I would be seven, but well, that's I, V-I-I-I. I, 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 I. V-I-I-I. <laughs> that is eight, yes. Got it. <laughs> I could have just put an eight in there, I guess, for you. No, that worked. All right, well, I think... I read it, right? I just, we, we mentioned some videos last week. I don't think they're done yet, they, but hopefully they'll be, they'll be up this soon. So they check out the Storm Too Fast. Not yet. Too Fast and Too Furious. Mm-hmm. And the new Lane One gem so- gemstone, gemstone, which is just a new color. It's silver garnet. But it's our first video on the gemstone. It is series. So check that out. Yep. And I don't think I have anything else. No other upcoming ball releases. Hopefully your leagues are starting soon. Um, ours, the one I'm bowling in, doesn't start for another two weeks. The one I'm bowling in doesn't start forever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> but we're. Excited about the season starting up. I hope. Sure. You're not. In closing. Your turn. You know, I have a memory. All right. <laughs> In closing, please remember that BowlingBall.com is free shipping on every item every day. No hidden handling fees, no packaging fees, no insurance fees. Uh, the price you see is a price you pay at checkouts. No surprises. No surprises. Thank you. Part, <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Thanks. <laughs>